Our project is focusing on the deep learning technique in MR image reconstruction. Nowadays, ECG gated with hold sign MRI with balanced steady state free precession redox is considered as a reference test for evaluation of cardiac function. But they are limited in patients with arrhythmia and or dyspnea. The first solution is to perform highly accelerated real-time sign MRI using compressor fencing. But it is a really lengthy reconstruction process around 10 minutes per slice using GPU. So that's why deep learning comes into the picture. We're trying to use deep learning to speed up image reconstruction and pipeline of the sign image without significant loss in the image quality. First day is data preparation. We obtain raw data 1.5K and 3K using a 12-fold accelerated real-time scene sequence with radio case-based sampling and then grade the under-sampled radio data onto a cartridge state by non-uniform fast Fourier transform and the CS construction is performed for reference. Here the data were divided into the training and testing data with the portion of 723. So as for training data, there are 132 2D time data sets with 48 times frames. However, as for testing data, there are totally 60 2D time data sets. On the left is CS reconstruction data, on the right is the raw data. Then use those data set to train our CN network. Here shows the CN architecture we used. Totally five layers. The first layer in the layer, which is a 3D image, then followed by three identical convolutional layers with their third kernel size of three multiply three batch normalization and the value activation function. And then the last output layer is a, also a convolutional layer with a kernel size of three multiply three. Finally, after 100 iterations, we got a very small loss, only around 0 0.001. Now, let's have a look at our results. The left one is produced by control sensing. The middle one is the zero file input. And the right one is from deep learning. As we can see, although the figure produced by deep learning is not as clear and accurate as the figure generated by control sensing, the deep learning does show improvement from the raw input figure. And it generates a relatively reliable shape of the heart. Then, we did some data analysis. The control sensing is used as a reference data, and both deep learning and input data are compared with this reference. As shown in the table, the CNN shows higher structure similarity index and a lower normalized root square error than the zero file input data. Therefore, we can say that the deep learning exhibits higher fidelity than the input. On the other hand, it takes CNN 1.8 seconds, while it takes compressed sensing 10 minutes to generate a figure, which means that deep learning significantly reduces generating time. Now, uh, let's see a video of the results from compressed sensing and the CNN. As we can see, CNN shows a relatively reliable results. As a conclusion, although the data fidelity is not high enough, deep learning is a promising method to accelerate MR image reconstruction, thereby making inline reconstruction possible. In the future, we will focus on investigating additional approaches to increase data fidelity. First, we can apply more complicated network like UNET or GM. Second, we can incorporate a fidelity term. That's all for our presentation. Thank you for listening.